<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Oh, okay. Sorry if I took a while. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm in already. <laughs> I can't hear you if you're saying you might still be muted. There we go. There we are. <laughs> yeah, sorry that took a little while, folks. I uh, didn't realize he didn't go yet, yet, go out yet, since I took him out last couple hours back. So, uh, it's actually really nice outside. Well, oh, excuse me. Well, I shouldn't say that. I, I uh, mistakenly just went out in my undershirt, and it's <laughs> really cold out there. So. Ooh. It's getting chilly. It is, but it's but it's gonna get really hot again next week. So it's that time of the year where it's gonna fluctuate like stupid, which also means I'm probably gonna get sick a little bit because anytime there's no. a, anytime there's a large shift in weather or temperature, I always get a little like blah. Um, well, it's a changing of the seasons. Yeah, I love this time of year. I, I, fall is definitely probably my favorite. So so nice. Cozy. All right, um, where the hell were we? We just started chapter seven, correct? Mm -hmm. Like a Remo Remo village. Uh, let's see what's going on here. All right. Whew. Well, hopefully today I can finally talk to Inspector Kamada. Oh. Oh, where's my controller? <laughs> there we go. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Oh, it's that police officer from before. <gasps> She's coming to see me. I'll have to brag to Detective Kamihara. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's me, not you. Uh, um, hello, Edrith, or Gumshoe. Thanks for coming again today. Hello. Uh, let's chat. You're here to see Inspector Kamada? He's here today. Oh. Please go in the back room. Thank you. Very, uh, like one, two sentence, uh, or two word responses. Very nice. Yeah, dang it. Yeah. Hey, Gumshoe, Edgeworth, whatever. Gumworth? Uh, gum. Ooh. <laughs> well, I guess it's better than Ed Shoe. So. Yeah, ugh. That sounds like a kink. <laughs> Hero. <laughs> Sorry. Damn it. All right, let's go. Hello. You know, hold on really quick. Why is, do you guys see that fast forward symbol on the right hand side? How do I turn that off? Press R. Never mind. Thank you. <laughs> Where the hell that? I mean, I didn't even get. Nibble. That's the button that happens when you want to just that like, kind of speed through everything. If you hold it, it'll skip everything. Oh, but if I just push it once, it'll just okay. It'll like automatically do it. I wonder when the hell that happened. Huh. Mm. Oh, hello, Inspector Kamada. Ah, oh, thanks for coming all this way. You want to hear about the injured man, right? Yes, that's right. I understand the injured man simply disappeared, and I'd like to hear more. What can you tell me about the missing man? Well, his name was uh, Minoru Suzuki. Minoru oh. Suzuki. So we actually find have a name now. Okay. So why can't he give us that? That okay. Yeah, right. it, it is weird. That, like seven chapters in, now they finally tell us. Uh, he's been missing 18 years since the day uh, Ayaka Hashizumi was murdered. He was 25 years old at the time. If he were if he were still alive, he'd be 43 now. Interesting. We were looking for him back then because we saw him as a person of interest to the case, but we could never find him. Well, let's talk more about him. Anything else I should know? Oh, well, there's nothing else, no. Hmm? What? <laughs> the only information I have on Suzuki is 18 years old. We followed it all the time, uh, but we never managed to find Suzuki. Nowadays, most folks in the department think Suzuki's long dead. <laughs> this is a Famicom game. He's not dead. He's either going under a different identity. Well, yeah, I mean, no one's really dead unless we see it for ourselves. Yeah. 
That guy's look. That, wait, that guy looks like your uncle Yamada. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if, if that's supposed to be a reference to something. Is that a Yakuza thing? I don't even know. Uh, Suzuki generally isn't considered important to the current case, but what? I still want. I still want you to look into him. Uh, all the. Uh, I still want you to look into him. All the same, you've got a different perspective than we do. So, what's this all about then? So that's what all this is about. Okay, more Suzuki? Sure. You still say he looks like the missing air doc? He, he kinda. Yeah. They, they're probably cousins. <laughs> probably. I mentioned that there's a good chance he's dead, right? You sure did. Let's go to observations. <laughs> Maybe you'll notice something where... Miss, what, what, what's wrong with you? What the hell, Are you gonna sir? fart? Are you, you're gonna shit yourself. He looks like you're about to drop one in your britches right now, <laughs> and you're smiling about it too. Like, yeah, oh, this feels great. Uh, Wait, huh? At least that's what I'm counting on. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> what's going on? What is happening? Does do you have use a the, hernia, do you, dude? Do you need to use the bathroom? Are you okay? Can we look at him? Are you? No, I, I actually just talked to him. Are you okay? <laughs> uh, no, it's something. Don't worry about it. No, I have to. You're making noises. You say that, but... Anyway, we're not allowed to share confidential information outside the force. That was so stupidly random. I'm so confused. Yeah. That's all I can say. Well, you know, I mean, he sneezed and that booger was hanging out. Okay, but he didn't do it here. It looked like he was about to just crap his pants. What if... I mean, he may just be old, but maybe that's there's something going on with him about that. Wait, hold on. Well, I got nothing else to tell you. No, I'm gonna look at you. Yeah, because uh, what's going on, bro? Hold on. I'm getting there. Okay. He has quite a stern look today. God dang it. Dude, I still don't know what the hell that was about. <laughs> that's think. weird. I guess that's the way it is. In that case, can he say if he can he say if he thinks the girls are pro really victims of indiscriminate murders? Probably not, right? What are you mumbling about there? Uh, well, it occurs to me that we don't know the motive of the serial girl murder case, whether it was uh, indiscriminate. I was wondering if the police had any ideas. If so, well, I need to know. You know, I can't tell you that. Yep, I knew it, all right. Dude, you pray that nothing like that happens to you when you get old? Oh, well. I already make noises when I sit down and get up. <laughs> oh, God. So I'm going to ask oh. him. Uh, yeah. You know already that I can't share sense of information outside the Force. That said, I can't let you leave here without a new clue to work with. Yeah. Let me give you this. Hello? Oh, a police sketch. Perceptive. Yep. Now guess the job of the officer who drew it. You? Who is this? It's what Suzuki might look like now at age 43. It's made off, based off an old picture of him. Since it was drawn by a professional, I figure it can't be too far off. Well, can, actually, can I look at a picture of him when he actually was 25? Uh, maybe. Let's check the notebook. Well, no, What's his I, name again? Uh... Oh, Minoru. Minoru, Minoru. Suzuki. Uh, that's, oh, no. that's a new one. Okay. Well, I guess we can take it. Uh, do you want to look at it first? No, I already took it. <laughs> oh. Thank you. I'm glad to have it. I probably should have looked at it. Uh... uh as I said... Uh, I can't give you the most of our I can't give you most of our old information on Suzuki. I mean, I understand that's frustrating since I brought you in on this investigation. But but oof, uh, you taking a fresh look at Suzuki, you might see something we missed. Do you have one of those like those like uh, pain thingies? Kidney stones? Like, yeah, or kidney stones or like those are you trying to experiment? Of what it's like to have labor pains? Like, what's going on? <laughs> I, I don't know. It sounds like it just really needs to you know, drop one. You got a poop? What was that? He got a turd popping out of something? A kidney stone something? Feels like IBS? It could be, but... I mean... Uh... All 
right. At least that's what I hope happens. He hasn't said it, but it all seems like it's such a command that thinks Suzuki is alive and involved in this case. But it's difficult to perform a new investigation. So he's asked me to help. Well, I'll conduct my investigation with that in mind. Now, I'm not going to travel. Wait, I can show him things? Let's show... I mean, he, he just gave to us. Well, we'll show it to him. Yes, that's a portrait of Minoru Suzuki that I just gave you. Okay. Uh, okay. Can I ask? Yeah. If you revisit Suzuki's angle from scratch, maybe you can find something we, uh, we haven't been able to. I'm counting on you. Ugh. Dude! Dude. Go Ugh. No, it's nothing. Don't mind me. Dude, no, you're... If he ends up dying, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to look at him again. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, that's the sounds that Phoenix will make in the next game? Oh, God. <laughs> this man is clearly grimacing in pain. Yeah, that's... Something's going on. Well, Spectre Kamada looks like he's in pain, but I feel like I shouldn't ask about it. I mean, I feel like we should, but it's not going to happen. Let's... Uh, uh, look at examine the sketch? Yes. Sketch of what Minoru Suzuki might look like now, based off a photograph taken when he was young. Okay. Does he look like anybody that... Uh... that that's what I'm wondering. I'm trying to let me open this back up. So this picture is what apparently he would look like now. Mm -hmm. But I really can't say he would look like anybody that we know of. Where's... where's... Taking a look at the pages, uh, like, uh, flipping through. Um... Oh, so, so don't know about Kohei. Um, that cab driver is still in our in our little thing. Dang! I didn't know Yoshi was eighty three. She looks good for eighty three. I know. Dang! God willing, I, I live that long. God knows how I'll look like. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not saying that this guy is the smiling man, but he's just a, a person of interest. It's just, yeah, it's just odd, I guess. Um, okay. I'm gonna think one more time. Minoru Suzuki. So that's the name of the missing man. Minoru Suzuki. And there's nothing else we can ask. Let me try calling, engaging really quick. Nope. So we're just, we're just gonna leave alone him grimacing in pain. I guess yeah. Let's just travel. I guess. All right. Well, thank you for your time, Inspector uh, Kamada. The sketch you gave me will be very useful. Uh, do you have any leads? Um. Uh. Did he say we we're gonna go anywhere else? Well, we never went back to the library the way the day that Daisuke picked us up. Now, what what was the reason we were gonna go there again? Oh God, I don't remember. What was the reason? I don't know. We we went there initially to look at the newspaper clippings. Right. So what? <sighs> oh, he was gonna go to the library to look up more about urban legends. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, so we gotta go to the library. Let's try that, yep. I think we'll find out who the Smiling it, smiling Man is the next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I think I made that joke. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go to the library. Oh? Really? Maybe that's not the best plan. Oh. You know, uh, usually in situations like this, police would uh, canvas for info at Kofuku Station, but now we screwed up some detective oh, stuff. Uh, you're right. Okay, then I'm off. Uh, good luck. Uh, keep up the good, uh, good work on um, my behalf. Huh? Okay. This is weird. I really hope they didn't do anything bad by selecting the library. Damn it. Well, how are we... Like... Okay, whatever. Yeah. Huh? Oh, Hello? no. Oh, it's him. It's the beanie. 
and the mask. It's the beanie mask guy. Huh? Um. Ah! Wait a minute! Ayumi, what are you doing? <laughs> Smooth, no, it's not the bad ending. Wait, Ayumi, this is stupid. Where'd he go? Oh, no. <gasps> God dang it, Ayumi. Well... Kofuku Station. This is the heart of Kofuku City, where a serial girl murders happened. There's a lot of people passing by the station. It won't be easy, but maybe I can learn something useful here. Oh yeah, she does have a side ponytail. <gasps> I'll use a sketch of Minoru Suzuki that Inspector Kamada gave us to ask around for info. Wait, hold on a minute. Why are we chasing him? What if he turns around and decides to chase us? Well, smooth. It looks like uh, you got your answer fulfilled there. I love how chat did not like the uh, saying, kick him in the dick and run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Twitch is very like, no, I don't see dick. <laughs> God. Uh, I keep thinking about Inspector Kamada's strange behavior, but I should focus on the investigation. He's given me a great opportunity, and I've gotten to live, I gotta live up to his expectations. Okay. Uh, surroundings? Maybe? Sure. It's a nice side station for this area. There are lots of restaurants. Plenty to eat here in the heart of Kofuku City. There's uh, there's a lot of foot traffic here too. Okay. Okay. I guess we can go show. Look, let's talk to someone who might know something. Uh, oh, I guess ask and listen. Oh, who should I talk to? Uh, we have to like look and examine. Okay. Let's start with, um, I can't go back to the left now, so let's, uh, yeah. let's try the old woman. She looks like a type who might know something about the neighborhood's history, because she's old. Let's, uh, do we, well, what happens now? Do I say call uh, and engage? ask and listen? Or call, yeah, call and engage. Oh, oh, okay, so never mind. Call and get you, then that. Well, uh, pardon me. I'm wondering if you might be able to help me. Yes, what is it? I'm a, I'm a detective, and I'm looking for someone. Who? Oh, I've lived here long enough. I might know them. Well, that's great. Um, Here you go. Take a look at this picture. Do you recognize this person? His name is Minoru Suzuki. Uh, he lived near here until like 18 years ago. I've lived... Oh. Uh, uh. Sorry. <laughs> Are you turning to Kamada lived... there? I, apparently. <laughs> I've, lived, uh, I've lived here for over 40 years. I've never seen the guy. Oh, I see. Thank you for your help. Sorry I couldn't help. Here, have some candy. It'll cheer you up. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, it's butterscotch. My goodness, you're excited. <laughs> Take your time with the candy. Don't bite right in. Savor it. Yes, of course. See you later. Okay. That's adorable. It was. <laughs> I got candy. Uh, maybe let's do surrounding, like, look surroundings again, made us. Oh, sure. wait, hold on. Hmm. That one guy in the alleyway, kind of? Oh, I didn't even notice him. Yeah. Let's try and call engaging him. Can we talk about his background music? The background music is really nice. Familiar man? Mm hmm. Hmm? Is that Detective Kamihara? Looks like I'm he's sorry? It looks like he's calling someone. Should I talk to him or not? Oh. I mean, uh, uh, like, see, the way I want to handle this, it's like, I don't, I want to keep my eye on him, but don't, I don't, can we just get closer to hear the conversation? This is weird. Like, what? 
like. Uh, I mean, I kind of. It's weird. Yeah, why don't we have the option to spy on him? Exactly. That's that's what I wish we had. Like, part of me wishes I, or part of me kind of is thinking that we don't. But I'm afraid we're gonna miss something if we do that. Yeah. Um. Well, our sole thing here is that we're here trying to find more information about Minaru. I'd like to think right. he would be. He would know that considering Kamada is his boss, you know. So, even if we do talk to him, he's probably not going to give us any information. Right. Or any information that he doesn't know that's current. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, let's let chat decide. Oh, I'm just kidding. Well, um, Smooth saying just do it like Nike, so... <laughs> I mean, do, do you guys? What do you, what do you guys? I'm I'm genuinely curi curious now. Like in both our chats, what do yeah. what, what do you guys what do you think? think? Cause I feel cause it's weird that he's here, but I mean not weird because he's you know, uh, uh, he's working on the case. But it's like, oh, if we run into him, we're a private detective. Do we? I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> Say we shouldn't. Maybe. You wonder if we'll miss on dialogue if we don't. I mean, that's what I'm worried about, Smooth. It's like... Well, Twin's saying now, let him have his phone conversation. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I just... I'm hoping maybe after we exhaust our options here, that then maybe we can try bothering him, or maybe he'll be off the phone. Yeah, by then. let's try that. All right. Let's not talk. So, so we're not talking to him. Yeah, we're not talking. Nah, let's not. I'm gonna ask around for more information first. Okay, that's exactly what I want to do. So, let's call and engage the guy on the left, if I can. Okay. The businessman. Hey, yo! Excuse me, do you have a moment? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Uh, who are you? <laughs> uh, I'm a detective with the Utsuki Detective Agency, and I'm searching for someone. Oh, you seem a little young for a detective. Oh my god, okay. what do you want? I'm trying to... Jesus, fine, we'll ask you whatever. Who are you looking for? Alright, well, I'm looking for this guy. Do you recognize this person? Uh, should I? Who is this? Uh, his name is Minoru Suzuki. He lived near here until about 18 years ago. Sorry, I moved here last year for work. I don't know anyone. Even my family was far away. I'm no help. <laughs> you sure aren't. Not a problem. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. He's already gone. Well, uh, and I got even closer. Is he looking at us? Looks like it. Wait, now I can't tell. Is he on the phone still, or is he eating or drinking something? I think he's drinking something. He's definitely looking at us, though. Huh? Oh, darn! Detective Kamihara's gone! He is? That's not him? Oh, I guess it's not. I should have chatted with him first. Damn it! Well, come on, game! <sighs> Maybe he can still be around, but... Should I try calling for him? Maybe. Kamihara. Does that have to Kamihara? Nope. I guess he's gone. <laughs> ah! Oh, God. Yeah, you call a boy detective? Oh, hey, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Oh okay. My God. Wait. Wait. Uh, the guy looking at us. What? Did we not want to talk to him? What? What? No, I tried doing call engage. I mean, I guess we can still look at him. Yeah, let's look. Just to look at him. That's a teen? Oh. Okay. Teen with coffee. Does he work around here? Okay, whatever. Okay, let's just talk to him then. Are you off today? 
Nah, I'm asking around for information right now. Does it look like I'm goofing off, boy detective? I'm out here burning the candle and all that. But if Detective uh, Kuze ever suspected that I'm slacking off, <laughs> if, it comes to, if it comes to trial, I want you to defend me. Say, he works hard, no goofing off. <laughs> i give you a name of a good lawyer that I know. <laughs> uh, what kind of trial is he imagining? Guess about Kuze? Oh, sorry, I clicked on Kami Hara again. Oh, Kami Hara? Okay, no worries. Oh. You might think I'm goofing off, but I'm out here doing my job. All right. Now we can talk about Kuze. Well, speaking of Detective Kuze, why isn't she here with you? Whoa, good question. I'm going to answer it with another question. Wouldn't you love another? Senpai quiz? Oh, God. God, here we go. Detective Kuze isn't here around, but what is she doing today? Thinking time! Tick-tock, 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 Instagram! I made the same joke. <laughs> Hang on, your quiz is way too vague. At least give me some choices or some kind of clue. Fine. I'll make it easy and give you two choices. Is my senpai A. Working separately and we're meeting later? Or B. Off duty today? Time's up! Answer, please! Oh, man, he uh, still didn't give me a clue. I don't know if it really matters. I mean, knowing her? I think she'd be working. Yeah, I think she's... I don't think she's off-duty today. Uh, yeah, working separate, yeah. You're working separately and you're meeting later. Ding, 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 ding! Correct! How'd you make your deduction? I saw Kamehara calling someone. If he's making calls on a job, it's either urgent or it's someone work-related. Maybe he was talking to Detective Kuze? I don't know. I mean, the way he was acting at the time. He didn't seem worried, so it's probably safe to guess it was Detective Kuze. Good observation and deduction. You beat me in my own game. Senpai and I are working the case separately. We're meeting up later, so that's why she's not here. Thanks for playing my senpai quiz. Mm. So, is, is Detective Kuze nearby? What are the two of them doing here investigating? Hmm. Uh, let's talk about Kuze one more time. Uh, reading up later. Okay, same thing. Uh, do you want some more quizzes? I know you can never get enough. Well, I'm afraid I'll have to wait. I only had the one quiz for you today. Uh huh. What the f? I thought I thought it was internal dialogue. How did he? Wait, yeah. Wait a minute. Did he? That was internal dialogue. Mm-hmm. Are they pulling that crap from Ace Attorney too, where it's supposed to be blue text and like it is internal dialogue, Probably. but Edgeworth knows? <sighs> oh, uh, Kamada. Do you know if Inspector Kamada is okay? I saw him today, and it seemed like he was in pain. Oh yeah. Huh. I wonder what's going on. Cyclox. <laughs> right? Eh? Again? I wonder what happened. I need to look at his face. Look at that. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. What? Do I have something on my face? Yeah, your face. Oh! oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, here we go. Wait, come, wait. Come on. Wait. You, you got it. Wait. You got wait. it. There it is. There <laughs> we go. Uh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let's see some observations. Ah! Eh? I think I figured Mark. out. I think I figured something out. What's that? Boy, Detective, do you... Do you kind of have a thing for Detective Kuze? What? Huh? You keep asking me about her, so I thought maybe... Well, am I right? I, mean, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Right about what? Ugh. Bad bit of detective work on my part. You do have your wonderful colleague, Tachibana, after all. But what the hell do you mean? <laughs> Did I embarrass you? You're an adorable boy, detective. P 
please stop whatever this is. Yeah, ugh. Okay. Uh, now what? I can talk one more time. Oh, okay. Hey, what are you doing out here anyway, boy detective? Oh, I'm here looking for the, uh, into the case from 18 years ago. I'm not having much luck, though. Eh, it must be tough without any good clues to work with. I do have a clue, though. I have the sketch. I guess I can show it then. Should we? Well, that's what oh, I'm wait. doing. Ugh. Show. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh! Oh, uh, this is, uh... Damn it, I wish we didn't do that. I know. Because he, he probably could have said something else. Uh, Minoru Suzuki. Oh! oh thank you, Fiela, for the follow. From Inspector Kamada. I do have this clue, at least. Hmm. Now, see, I... Look I, at his face. Let's see. Did I saw my face. Yeah, no, th that interaction was really weird. Yeah. Hmm. Let's let's see if there's any any other observations. Okay. You're so cute, boy detective. Okay. Uh, maybe about Kamihara. What if Detective Kuze saw us doing that quiz? be fine if she shows up I'll handle her or maybe you can get yelled at along with me boy detective hey don't get me involved okay well smooth think. smooth is saying I don't trust this fool I'm calling it right now that he's a smiling man I mean he is very off and I felt the same way about Fukuyama but I guess it's a little alleviated but I'm still a little iffy I mean the thing is there there's no way this could be from 18 years... He can be the original killer. Because that was from 18 years ago. Now, I have a theory that... Like, there was a killer 18 years ago, but maybe he has a mentor for whatever reason that, for some reason, killed Ice King. But we don't really have the proof or details or motive, anything like that. But there is something... Off about him. But, there you, there you are. What about Kuze? I already told you, we're working separately today. I don't have another quiz ready yet. Come on. I think should think. Oh, I think you think. It's going to be a massive pain in the ass to per uh, perceive the investigation with using nothing but the sketch. Maybe if the police shared a few more details, I could provide some insight. Of course, it's the uh, company hard as the police, but maybe it'll take pity on a civilian like me. Won't he? I guess we're gonna ask. Eh, it's always best to get as many clues as you can. That didn't help. <laughs> I'm gonna look at him again. Uh, boy detective, why are you making that face? I'm um having some trouble. What's wrong? Oh, I know what it is. You do? You have a stomach ache? No, I... No. That was my best pity me face. I guess it didn't work. <laughs> oh, that's good. Glad I was wrong. Still, if you need anything, just let me know. I'm always happy to listen. Help with anything? Yeah. Wait, what was that? I got a bot. One sec. Oh, I'll take care of it. There we go. Okay, got it. Yep. Yeah, I mean, what? Why are you so excited? Well, we're going to ask you for help. Uh, maybe about Kamihara? I'll listen to what you have to say first. Uh, you know, for now. I need some help with my investigation. And you're kind of the only person who I think can probably help me. I'm afraid I have no no one to turn to but you, Detective Kamihara. Ugh. Really? Please, give me more details. Mm. Could you maybe, you know, slip me some details on the investigation? Um... 
Okay, listen. You need to keep this between us, okay? It's very important. It worked? He's gonna share? Yes. Just kidding. Damn it. You know police rules prevent me from saying anything to you? Yeah, I thought so. But it felt pretty cool thinking you'll rely on me for help. Doesn't matter if you really did or not. Ugh. You gotta ask me a question about the mechanics of this game later on. Feel free to ask me now. Um. Let's look at observations. Okay. Oh yeah, there's something. Hey, did Inspector Kamada give you any info? All I have to work with is a name Min Minoru Suzuki and a sketch. Oh, th that's pro okay. We probably had to do that anyway. Hmm. I guess they searched for him at the time, but they never found him. Yeah, there are others in the precinct who think the Suzuki guy has got to be long dead by has to be long dead by now. So it gets kind it gets hard to convince anyone to devote much energy to his case, you know. That's why you're here, boy detective. You can do what others can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do my best. It's like Inspector Kamada said. A lot of folks think Minoru Suzuki is dead. But we don't. Anything else? Ooh, excuse me. Uh, you better stop that. Let me do observations again. I'm counting on you. Okay. And what the details again? Sorry. It's a secret. I really can't tell you anything. Not even if you call me handsome again. Okay. Okay, Kamada. This better Kamada comes off as aloof, but that guy's a damn good investigator. Comes off as aloof? That's rude. Y you come off as aloof. You know, I bet that's why he talked to you about Minoru Suzuki. Inspector Kamada's got, uh, got clout, but he just can't do whatever he wants to in the precinct. Police, well, we have rules we have to follow. You hear me, boy detective? Yeah, I do. Good, because I'm rooting for you. Thanks. But I still can't give you any information. Okay, I get it already. Uh, bro, I was playing the missing air, and it kills me. <clears throat> It kills me that I can click one thing and it won't progress the story, and I'll click it again, and for no obvious reason, it'll work. It kills me sometimes. So, no, Smooth, I totally understand where you're coming from. Uh, what we have to kind of remember is that the missing heir and the girl who stands behind, they're basically one-to-one -one remakes from the original game 30-plus years ago. And because of that, a lot of the... Uh, you gotta think about like how was functionality and gameplay back then. You know, it's it's limited to certain degrees. So, uh, the logic and the way to progress is very obtuse. Uh, it's a I, I'll say this now: it's a lot worse in the missing air than any anywhere else. Um, we felt like we, we were able to get through the girl stands behind a lot better because we kind of understood what was be, was to be expected of us. But either way, the missing air is... I hate saying it's bad when it comes to it, but it, it's good practice to, like, ask the same thing twice, go down the line, if there's nothing else, try thinking, and then re-ask, and maybe it'll progress. Like, th there were a few times we got really stuck in there. Um, the missing air made you put it down for a little bit. I get it. I understand. But it's a good story. Keep up with it if you can, and I think you'll be happy. All right. Um, so we talk about Kamada. Oh, this is totally unrelated. I asked again. Uh, this is totally unrelated, but there's something that's been bothering me. What's that? We need. <laughs> Benji, are you rubbing your face on my my laundry? Could you, what are you doing? Dude. Bruh. Bruh. What made you decide you wanted to be a detective when you grew up, boy detective? When you grew up, boy detective? I did it to find my parents. Speaking of missing air. <laughs> uh, I, I never knew their faces or even their names. Oh. What I found was that they... I kind of feel bad. Well, this is going to give spoilers a little bit. 
Oh. Uh, Spoilers if you haven't played the previous two games. Yeah, so, uh, wait, oh, that's very, that's, that's very thing though. The story is amazing, so I gotta power through it for the sake of the story. Okay. Uh, Smooth, I can't really tell you if what, if what they're gonna talk about right now is gonna be spoiling anything, so, uh, just a heads up. Um, what I found out was that they died when I was really young. They were both good people. I'm proud to be their son. I'm sure they must have been wonderful people. Oh. I'm sorry I asked the way that I did. I, I didn't imagine I'd be sticking my foot up so far in my mouth. No, no, it's fine. No worries. Okay. Now what? I talked again and he's like, hmm, you're a lot like Detective Kuze. What? She became a detective because she figured it would be the best way to find her brother. Okay, can we talk about Kuze again? You know the story about Kuze's brother, don't you? How he disappeared? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, after you asked me about her brother the other day, I was pretty sure you did. He pays attention. But do you know that, that there was a time when she saw someone she thought might be her brother? Really? Hmm. She said it was when she was in high school, right here in this area. She saw him. D did she talk to him? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, never mind. Well, of course she did, but she says he, he just acted suspicious of her. Was it the wrong person? Well, she seemed pretty sure it was her brother, but she also said he was wearing a mask like he was sick. So she couldn't really see his face. That guy doesn't look old enough to be her brother, though, does he? Yeah. Well, still, uh, she says she was uh, she was sure. Says she knew him because they're siblings. Because they're siblings. Huh. But the other guy said he didn't know who Kuze was, right? And there is your mystery. Detective Kuze says she thinks that her brother might be suffering from amnesia. Hmm. Oh, that'd be fan freaking tastic! How many games have we played already like that? <sighs> yeah, that's, that's kind of annoying at this point. Um, um, now what? I guess Kuze again. No. Um, observations. Do you think it might be Amnesia too, Boy Detective? Okay, maybe think. Maybe think. Amnesia. Do you buy it? Sounds like a cartoon or a low budget TV show or an Ace Attorney game. <laughs> <sighs> it seems like it could be possible. I've experienced Amnesia too, so I get it. Oh, interesting. Well, surprise! I agree with you. As long as the possibility isn't absolutely zero, it's possible. Okay. Do we ask again? About who? I don't know. Two observations, I guess? Welcome back, Justin. He he he. Okay. Oh. Maybe Kuze? Uh. So, Detective Kuze's inspiration is to, uh, to become a detective was because she thought she saw her missing brother? Yep, and she's still looking for him. Even after all this time. Uh, she keeps it separate from her day job, but she still works the case. She actually lives around here, you know? Oh, I didn't know that. If I'm being honest, I think she probably mistook someone else for her brother. Mm. But she trusts her instincts and continues her search. I see her like that, and I want to help somehow. Is that the common horror? They highlighted things, so I'm going to think. Oh, wait. Crap. Oh, okay. You're, you're, no, you're oh. good. Go ahead. Speaking of helping Detective Kuze... Yoshi said... Can't explain it, but I have a gut feeling that you'll be the one to finally reunite Junko and Makoto. But yeah, but like I said, I just don't think it's going to be a happy reunion. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I will learn something about Makoto while I research the case from 18 years ago. Okay. I'll see what I can find out about Makoto on my end as well. Boy Detective. It's a little strange for me to say this, but... Thank you. I'll be half a detective Kuze. No worries. 
But let's not let her know you're looking into her brother, okay? If she finds out we're treading on what she sees as her personal space, she might give us a lecture. And probably an uppercut to the balls. <laughs> okay. Oh, ugh. Ugh. Especially if it's the uppercut. Ugh. By the way, you have a cell phone, don't you? Let's exchange contact information. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, this is a receipt from McDonald's. Thanks. <laughs> See ya. He just walks away. <laughs> if you figure anything out, feel free to call me. And if you don't, still feel free to call. Ow. Another cut. That's terrible, Revias. <laughs> a swift nut shot. Ooh. S Smooth really doesn't trust Daisuke at all. Okay. God, can we leave? Why is it? Ugh. I need to find out what happened to Ayumi. Oh, well, hold on, really, really quick, guys. Mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 All right. Uh, crap. What the hell are we doing again? Uh, no idea. I'm gonna think again. Okay. Since, yeah. I, since I got him here, is there anything else I ought to ask Detective Kamehara about? Oh yeah, I should ask about the motorcycle. I totally forgot about that. Oh yeah. Hey, uh, the motorcycle. <laughs> well, however, the way I spelt it last time, or you spelt it. <laughs> this district—I mean, this music is giving you shopping district vibes. It's—it's it's cozy. I like it. I mean, frankly, yeah. I like the way Japan has their. Uh, how do you want to call it? Infrastructure laid out. You know, mm -hmm. the, the fact like it, it seems cozy. There's like shops and homes right next to each other. Like I don't know. There's something. I don't know. Like, like I said, there's something cozy about it to me. Oh. Yeah. Hey, I was wondering if you found out anything about the motorcycle? Motorcycle? What are you talking about? Huh? Well, an eyewitness placed a motorcycle near the crime scene of the night of Aisuke Sasaki's murder. Didn't Detective Kuze tell you about it? Motorcycle? Hmm. No, I haven't heard anything about it. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Like right, That's super weird. Right there, I just feel like he might be lying. Yeah. This guy's playing dumb. I don't believe him. Smooth is hating on this guy it's so bad. Pity. But I, I, I mean, there is something off. But the only way it makes sense is like if he was like a mentor to the killer. But then again, why kill Ice Skate? Yeah, why? Why? Yes, we'll keep finding out. Oh, the sighting occurred an hour after the estimated time of death. Maybe the second Kuze decided it had nothing to do with the case? But I'd still expect her to at least share the information, especially for her partner. Eh, yeah. Maybe she made a mistake. No, I. Oh, Kuze okay. making a mistake. Eh, rumor is she's just a human like the rest of us. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going back to work. See you later, boy detective. Yeah. Bye. Okay. See you later. Hmm. Don't trust your ass. Hmm. It's nearly sunset. Maybe I'll call it a day. Or, or. Can we talk to that kid? Uh, I try to call Engage, and he's like, I probably, I can probably stop gathering information for today. Wait, look at him. Doo -doo. Does he work around here? Can I ask? Hmm. I'll stop for today and go back to the office. Dang it. Okay. It said use phone. Yeah, that, look, that looked a little... Uh, it was highlighted, yeah. right? Yeah, do we call... Oh, maybe we should call Ayumi. Let's give her a shot. <laughs> Such a dirt face. Hmm. I wonder if she's busy. Okay, what about... Uh, Bruh, I feel like he squeezed us out of info and we got nothing from him. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I feel like he's, like, fishing. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, yeah. What about Itsugi? I wonder if he's busy. How come no one is picking up my my phone? 
Uh, Detective Kamihara. <laughs> Didn't you just see me? I missed your face. <laughs> hmm? I try calling, but there's no answer. See? At the office. <sighs> like, why wouldn't he pick up when we just saw him? Reach the, it's it's a detective agency. Sorry, but we're currently out in the office. Please state your name, number, and uh, what we what we can do to help after the tow. A re representative from my office will contact you shortly. What kind of message should I leave? <laughs> what? Leave a joke? Leave a very serious message? Leave an imitation of Mr. Tsugi? Leave an imitation of Ayumi? <laughs> Don't leave a message. What the hell? This is weird. I hope this doesn't mean anything, but I, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna I'm leave. I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, well, I'm gonna leave an impression of Ayumi because I'm just curious. You don't have to okay. do that. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> you know, let's not. <laughs> That's what mine said. Okay, well, I did. It's like, it's Tachibana. Hey, look down. You've got your pants unzipped again. Stop saying bad endings, Smooth. I'm not getting a bad ending. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Uh, I get. I'm gonna think. Let's go. Ba Let's go back to the office. Yeah, we literally can't do anything. Oh, you know what? Hold on. How about if I look at my surroundings? There's lots of restaurants in front of the station. L lots of yeah. Lots to eat here in the heart of Kafuku City. Oh, now we went back to the left. Well, I guess we didn't really need to talk to them. Since... I guess not, but I'm gonna look at them anyway. Okay. College student. Is she a college student? Well, the the bubble says so. I mean, whatever. What was a female shopper? Is she shopping? She's studying. She's studying the grilled chicken so intensely. Don't worry, I do the same thing sometimes. I'm like, mm, that so, look, dude, yeah. That was good. <laughs> um... 10.99. I'm not gonna buy that. <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess we can leave. Did you travel? Yeah, wh why are we going back here again? <sighs> Uh-oh. <sighs> Was I being weird? Oh, hold on. I'm not there yet. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. What the hell? Well, y yes! Oh! Um... No, so wait, that, is it just a coincidence he was wearing the same beanie and the same glasses as the other guy we saw? Well, the guy had, like, purple eyes, right? He did. This is really odd. This is very odd. If I were a cop, I'd be questioning you about your actions right now. If Megumi's mother had found out, she'd have reported you for sure. Yeah. Uh, you looked up Kofuku City and you're disappointed to say that it's not a real place? It's not? No. Oh. Le no. Lev is dying of laughter because you guys are in a voice chat. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Huh. Uh, okay. You're saying you're saying you saved my life? I I'm so grateful. I don't think Fukuyama understands how much trouble he could have been in. Okay. Uh, let's ask and listen about Fukuyama. I'm worried about Megami. She's in so much pain, and it's all because of me. Ah, it's all my fault! Okay. Kuyama, please stop. Everyone is looking. I'm sorry, Tachibana. I, I lost control of myself. If you're worried about Megami, why not go visit her normally? You're her homeroom teacher. It wouldn't be odd. Yeah, it would, after all that happened? Yeah, her mom's like, I don't feel comfortable you talking to my daughter. <laughs> You're right, but you must understand. You understand, right? Eh? Okay, I'm again? Oh, okay. Don't you understand? Just... Tachibana! Tachibana! Tachibana, no! Alright, Megami. <sighs> Megami's incident was a direct result of my poor skills as a teacher. I don't know what I'd ever even say to her if I saw her. How would her parents feel about me showing up? You'd be uncomfortable being there. Yes, I would. Maybe that's why you should go? Erg. You 
can't know what's going on inside a house if you spend all your time outside. Tachibana. Yes? You're right. Thank you. Okay. Wait, wait, hold, hold on really quick. Hold, hold on. Oh, sorry, I went back to Megumi. No, no, it's not that. I'm looking at the uh, text or like the backlog. She's because she says you can't you can't know what's going on inside a house if you spend all your time outside. Mm hmm. Was this jackass outside of her house? Oh, yeah, I think that's why it was. That's why it's like the mom was like it, she was saying like the mom would have like called the police on him because he was scoping her house. Okay, Tachibana mm -hmm. out here giving bad advice. Get a restraining order. This is weird. Okay. We're going to talk about Megami again. I can't stop worrying about how Megami's doing now. It hurts my heart to think about it. I don't know what to do, Tachibana. One more time. Megami again? Yeah. Megami. Observations. Think? Okay, think. Fukuyama isn't quite his usual self today. We might need to look at him, but I want to take a look at the bill again. I'm just kind of curious. Oh, look at the bill? Yeah. Well, that hasn't changed. <laughs> I don't. Alright, let's look at him. I still don't know what the hell that means. Some sort of code. What the hell was that? Did you hear something? It's just the background. Jesus, okay, because I could have heard something like, baby, baby, and I'm like, what? yeah, it's it's just the background oh. music. Okay, I thought it was going nuts. Uh, okay, well, nothing happens when you look at him. If I click take, what happens? Oh, I can drink more of my milk tea. Um. I drank some. Nothing happened. Let's see. Uh, about Fukuyama, maybe? I'm helpless. A, a teacher who's unable to do anything for my suffering students. Oh, senpai. I swear, Tachibana, I've never treated Megami any differently than any of my students. I know. I should have seen Megami's feelings and helped her through them. I never meant to hurt her. I'm a damn fool! Fukuyama. <laughs> Maybe I'm not a good teacher. I should have... I... Tell me, am I missing something? I don't think so. Oh? Well, thanks, Tachibana. <laughs> uh. <laughs> talk about him again, I guess. I guess. Uh, I, I'm. Okay. Magami. Observations. Oh. What can I be doing right now? Oh, now we look at him. Oh, never mind. Wait, is tea? I'm gonna try thinking. His love for his students seems genuine. He's completely depressed. Hmm. Asking doesn't do anything. Well, I'll look at him again. I've never seen him so sad before. Hmm? 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 Tachibana, once Aizuke's case is solved, do you think Megami will be okay? Yes, I do. Is there any way I can help? I'm strong, and my skills with the, uh, Naginata can't be, can't be that rusty. Huh? And, you know, I've read a lot of mystery novels. Then again, the culprit is never who I expect. 
Am I not good enough to help? Don't worry, dude. I'm same boat. Okay. Oh, that's me. You have school. Your students need you more than this investigation. Oh, you're right. That's unacceptable. I guess there's nothing I can do. You provided us with a lot of information so far. You've helped us out a lot. Sort of. Okay, but it looks like I'm out of, out of ways to help for now. Sorry, Tachibana. Also, why does this guy look like... Why does this look like we're counseling him over a bad breakup? <laughs> Bro, are you going to show off your skills too? What, karate versus his na nagi Naginata? Try thinking. Thinking? Okay. Oops. I understand his feelings, but he does have students t to take care of. Uh, about Fukuyama? I don't care what it takes. I want to help Megami, for I Aisuke's sake as, as well. But what can I possibly do? Um... I don't know what to do. Okay. Nope. Sorry, one sec. Yep. There we go. Uh, oh, okay, go to talk to Megami. Megami was, was at the pumping station. Cold. Shivering. Scared. This is what we need to talk about. She believed in the urban legend. She even thought she knew a spell that would help. She's so innocent. I wish I can get her carefree smile to return. What? I don't... I... <gasps> I don't think I can get her... I wish I could get her carefree smile to return. No, I... Let's see, but this is too easy again. But what What were you thinking? Well, the same thing. I, I was like, he. the way that he said this exact statement... I wish I can get her carefree smile to return, and the, the legend says, "Oh, I'll, I'll give you a smile that you'll, what they say, it's a permanent smile, a smile that'll never go away." Uh, <laughs> Smooth says this is a red herring. It could be. It's just it's odd. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Let's try observations. I don't think I have any, any any more information. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe I do. Huh? <laughs> it's probably not much. Just something Megami uh, said at the police station. See, she talked about urban legends and the paranormal pretty often. Yeah? She even let me some magazines about the stuff. I haven't returned them yet, but, um... Uh... Okay. Yes, about urban legends? Do you enjoy urban legends? I want you to listen to me very carefully, Tachibana. Oh? I'm a realist. I don't believe in ghosts, and I am not interested in those kinds of stories. Oh. I do believe in alien life, though. Somewhere in the infinite, uh, infinity of the universe, they absolutely exist. I, frankly, I'm kind of in the same boat. You can't tell me... because <laughs> What's scarier to you? That we are truly alone in this, the known universe, or is there something else out there? Uh, Being alone scares me more. So, that's why I feel like there must be something out there. Isn't it? Like, what we've observed and what we can see is like a speck in the ocean. Like, there's so much out there. You can't tell me there's not, you know, something else out there. Or, like, I like the theory of, like, the infinite universes and worlds. Like, there could be a, a universe or world right now where we're doing the same thing, except uh, maybe it's not the central time zone. And maybe it's another time zone. Like, I don't know. Like, like, could those possibilities happen? Maybe. Possibly. But... I mean, you ever get, you ever see those those uh, those creatures in the ocean? You see how weird and creepy those get. Oh like, hell yeah! 
How do we know those aren't aliens right there? <laughs> right? Jesus. Especially what, the blobfish? That poor thing? Oh. All right, sorry. What, uh, <clears throat> what about you, Tachibana? What do you think? I honestly don't know. I guess it's not really what we've, we're here to discuss, is it? Hmm. Funny how we More call them... Legends? Yeah. yeah. Funny how we call them urban legends nowadays instead of superstitions like we used to. Mm. I just keep thinking back to the movie, the movie Urban Legends. The whole thing about, uh, what was it you, you shouldn't be doing? Drinking pop and pop rocks at the same time or something? Yeah, your, your bodies will explode. <laughs> uh, uh, observations? Uh, Megumi me talked about the urban legends of paranormal quite often. Let's try, th or you know, talk about Megumi, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mythbusters tested that, of course they would. I love that show. Oh, mm -hmm. now I'm just thought about it. Yeah. Um, show is loving. Oh, same thing. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bum. Mm. My water. Wait, you can confirm your bowels did in feed and did in fact explode. Well, smooth. How the hell are you talking to us right now? <gasps> or do you have a prosthetic ass? I mean... <laughs> um... What do I do? Thinking didn't do anything. Um... I'm gonna look at him again. Mm. Ugh! Uh, oh, ask about Fukuyama. There we go. So you have no interest in urban legends of any kind? Well, not at all. I've never even heard of the Smiling Man story, if not for Megami. Do you know? Do you know much about the Smiling Man? Yes. Then why don't you tell me about it? Okay, sure. The Smiling Man always appears in front of a crying girl with a paper bag on his head. Then he says. You don't have to cry anymore. And then he kills her, the child. Hmm. And the smiling man puts a paper bag just like his own over her head and walks away. With that bag in place, the girl will have a smile on her face forever. She'll never cry again. Oh. Oh, smiling man, okay. Such a horrific story. And that... That's who showed up in front of Megami? Was someone that dangerous? That's what she said. And that means she was saved just in time. Right? Maybe. Whoever was there ran away at the sign of someone rushing to the scene, though. Huh? Wasn't he the first one to rush over? Yes! That's what I'm confused about. Let's... Let's talk, ask about him again. Uh, okay, maybe not. Ask about the Smiling Man? So, the, so the Smiling Man shows up in front of a crying girl. And that's what the urban legend says. Think, maybe? Fukuyama seems so unsure of his feelings. Let's ask about Megami. Of course, Megami was crying when I found her. Maybe now we talk about a smiling man? Because we talk... A crying girl. Observations? Well, Megami said Aisuke was killed by a smiling man. But if the urban legend you... T but in the urban legend you told me, the smiling man only appears in front of girls. Nice case a boy. I don't understand. Me either. There are a lot of conflicting theories about the smiling man. I didn't even I didn't even know the one about the spell. Maybe there's a version where the smiling man only shows up in front of boys. It's only an urban legend after all. Hmm. What if you're already wearing a paper bag when you encounter a smiling man? Ooh, that's a good question. Mm hmm. You know, what if... Well, no, that wouldn't make sense. Never mind. I don't know. 
Uh, any other observations? Maybe the smiling man doesn't pick and choose. What do you, what do you mean? Let me ask about it, the smiling man. So the smiling man is really just a killer wearing a paper bag with a smiley face painted on it. Yes. A smile in a paper bag, hmm? Wait a sec. Hmm? What, dude? What? <laughs> a smile in a paper bag. Okay, observations. Wait, uh, touch upon it. I think I remember something that might be very important. Really? Yeah, uh, give me a second to think about it. You got it. Why didn't he finish his sentence? Because that's what this games, these games do, Smooth. Hmm. Eh. Ah. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Just say it. Just say it, God. Yes, I remember Tachibana. Oh? What is it? Jesus Christ. When I was at the police station, I saw the paper bag the detective showed Megami. The bag in your story about the smiley man just now reminded me of something. I heard a story a long time ago about a paper bag with a smiley face on it. This guy's the worst. Really? When my dad was in college, there was a memorial service at my grandma's house. When he was there, he heard a story over drinks about a paper bag with a smiley face painted on it. Oh? The story was about an incident. Uh, maybe it was an accident? That's part of the local folklore. Okay. Jeez, you know, every time I think of folklore, I don't know if you guys remember this, there was a RPG on a PS3 called Folklore. Super... Oh, yeah. It's, I feel like it's a super niche, but, like, I played a demo of it years ago, and it was actually pretty fun. And that's just one of those games that you just can't really play anymore unless you have a PS3. It's not really available anywhere. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, want, I, kind of, I feel like tracking it down. I'm kind of curious about it now. Hmm. Anyway, talk, talk about more about the paperback story. The thing is, I don't think the story was about a killer wearing a paper bag. Huh? I remember my dad describing it as a sad story. However, he was talking about a half-remembered thing from decades earlier that he heard from when he was drunk. I'm sorry it wasn't the information you were hoping for, Ayumi. Not at all. Oh. Good. I'm glad. Anything uh, else about it? Observations? Or a paper bag, I mean? No, there's really nothing else about it. Observations. Okay. Well, if that's the original story behind the smiling man, it must be a very old urban legend. Yeah. The timing is such that the story would have been around 30 years old, at least. So maybe the case from 18 years ago isn't the source of the smiling man legend. 30 years ago? 30? I mean, that places a few people who are definitely older mm -hmm. to possibly kind of fit in, but were there any mm -hmm. cases like this 30 years ago, or these killings just started 18 years ago? That, I, I don't know. I mean... Well, I'd imagine they would, they would have told us. Well, I mean, if it was a serial killer, usually they'd have, like, one killing, and then, like, once they are able to, you know, develop, I guess, for lack of a better word, they develop their signature. Is this where your uh, criminal mind's uh, information yes. is coming from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're studying the unsub. <laughs> you said it. Yay. Yay. Aw. I really should have watched that show again. I, I always love the bickering between... Well, not really bickering, but, like, uh, Penelope and Morgan. Oh, yeah. Their flirtatiousness. Although, I guess today that would be very... Uh, oh, it'd be bad. HR. <laughs> yes. There's an episode where they're, like, sitting... In, they're the reason why they're sitting in a... Uh, an in a, like, appropriate workplace talk seminar. Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> it was really funny. Oh, Jesus. Uh, all right, Levias. Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Levias. Have a good night. 
Uh, let's ask again. So there's a sad story out there about a paper bag with a smile on it. So maybe the smiley man is just a local folk, uh, folk tale with a long history. I guess, think? Yep, see you next time, Love Eyes. If this, if this story is the origin of the Smiley Man, I should find out what part of the country it's from. Okay. Damn, I just thought of something. This chapter is called Arumi Village, Arumi Village. What the hell happened? We haven't gotten there yet. Oh, you know what? That's probably where the urban legend started. Yeah. Eh, okay. Uh, do we think again? Oh. No, I went back to ask. Oh. Where does your father's family live? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Iru Irumo Village in the Sanin region. I've never been. It's way too far away. But okay. that that's where Itsugi is. He's in, Well, he's in the Sanin region. I don't know if he's in that same village, though. Yeah. But he's in the region. I should let Mr. Itsugi know about this. Fukuyama, I think you might have really helped us with this. Really? You think I may have helped towards solving Aisuke's case? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful news. Oh, God, I didn't press A. Thank you. I'm going back to the office to let the others know what you just told me. Okay. Okay, bye. That is some that is some five second foreshadowing right there, Pharaoh. It really is. <laughs> He's good at that. Uh so I guess travel to the office? Yep. I'm going to pick up the check for this. Hey! Back up! Jesus. Listen, seriously, about the check. Now now, you were once my underclassman. And I am. Hi, Senpai. That's right. And that's that. Well, thank you, Senpai. No need to thank me, Tachibana. It's the way the world shall be. Shall we go to the station? Wait, you're coming with me? Maybe he's just walking us there. I need to take off now. Okay. Take care of yourself. I'm sorry about today. Hey, don't worry. He gave me a very promising lead. Well then, I'm glad I could be of service to you, Tachibana. Next time we're together, I'll order us the tir tiramisu set. Uh, yes. Or maybe the mili fulelele. I always had such a hard time <laughs> deciding. What? I, shut what up. <laughs> Although the tiramisu always seems to win, even if only by a narrowest of margins. Or maybe we'll do both if you want. That'd be great. Oh, and by the way, do you have any plans for tomorrow? Um, nothing yet, but... Ah! Oh, there's a student in my class who'd be interested in talking to you. I imagine you've heard his name by now. Uh, Kohei? He was close to Aisuke, and he, he wants to help solve the case. Oh, I've been hoping to hear more about Kohei. What do you think? I can set up a time for the two of you to meet. That's, I'd love to. That's... Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel really bad. Oh no! I feel so bad. He just, he's uh, just looking so forlorn. He's, he's like, like, no! What do no. I do? What do I do? Oh my god! <laughs> it's getting worse. Understood. Oh wait. <laughs> uh, can you come to the school at lunchtime? I can. Yes, thank you. Good. I'll see you tomorrow, then. Yes. See you then. I wonder why he's in such a hurry. Where is he running off to? Uh, Ayumi? Huh? Oh, what are you doing here? I was trying to get some information. But, hey, uh, wasn't that... Fukuyama, yeah. We bumped into one another and talked for a while. He seems like, you know, a cool guy. You think so? Huh. Anyway, I got some really interesting information from him. What is it? Well, 
It's a secret. Oh, please don't do that to me. <laughs> Come on, let's go back to the office. That was adorable. Wait a minute! My boy is so jealous. He definitely is. He, oh, he's got... Yeah, he's he, he is. He, he needs to say something. This dude's kind of <laughs> weird, but you still don't think it's him. It's very... He's very awkward, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Is it him? I'm leaning towards no now, but that maybe that's what the game wants us to say. I don't yeah. know. I didn't make it to Megami's house because I ran into Fukuyama and took the time to question him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He's always been so serious, always giving everything his best. Even today. <laughs> it's not that funny. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. I know he shouldn't laugh, but it's just so funny. He hasn't changed since we were kids. He's always been a good guy, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. <laughs> he said he gave you some good information. Oh, yeah. It sounds like maybe the Smiley Man story originated in the San In region. What? <laughs> Fukuyama's father heard a story when he was still a student. It's about a paperback with a smiley face drawn on it. Oh, that means the story is a lot more than 18 years old. Yep. 30 years to be, in fact. It's not the same as the Smiley Man story, but it sure is similar. Hmm. Mr. Utsugi is looking into the Smiley Man story, so I'm going to let him know about this. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'll do it right now. Oh, Mr. Utsugi, I have something urgent to tell you. There's an old story from uh, Orumo Village in the Sanin region that involves a paper back with a smiley face. We ne still need to find out if it's connected to the Smiley Man, but... What? Okay. Yes. Yes. Really? Eh? That's amazing, Mr. Tsugi. Yes, I understand. Okay, bye. Mr. Tsugi is already in the Sanon region. Wow. He's really on top of things, huh? He didn't know which village he was looking for, so he's happy for the call. I'm sure Fukuyama will be happy to hear that his lead proved fruitful. Welcome back, Justin. You're worn out. Try getting some rest, buddy. Hmm. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. It's just surprising to find an old story that connects to this modern urban legend. I don't know if it all fits together, but... I'm positive we're one step closer to solving this mystery. Well, let's let Mr. Tsugi work the investigation. And we can focus on reviewing our notes from today. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> He's so sad. I don't want to. Uh, Where's the review? Ask and listen, maybe? Hmm. About Fukuyama? Excuse me? Of course. Why are you asking me about Fukuyama? I thought we were going to review our notes. Oh, uh, I don't know. I just felt like it. He's providing important information, but I don't really know what kind of guy he is. Well, Fukuyama's quirky, but he's really nice. He's very student-oriented. Maybe too much, but he's a straight shooter. I think you'd like him. You should talk to him if you ever get the chance. Yeah, that'd be swell. I'd like him, too. So she likes him. But is it just, like, as an acquaintance or something more? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. <laughs> well, then, it's time to start reviewing. Anyone play- Hey, Ian. Anyone playing Astrobot yet? Not yet! I want but to. Soon. Maybe. I don't know. I don't have a PS5. It's on I don't have $500. It's on sale at Costco, actually. Sh shut up. No, it's not. No, no, the, the game, not the PS5. The, oh, dude. I know. I don't have a Costco oh near God. me. 
I do. You want to pick it up for me and send it over my way? <laughs> nah. Okay. All right, let's do that. <laughs> Dick needs to shoot his shot. Oh, that sounds terrible when you sit played it that way. But he does. He does. Let's review. All right, it's freaking review. So, 18 years ago, a man disappeared just as a just as a serial girl murders began. His name was Minoru Suzuki. He was often seen with Ayaka Hashizume, the first victim. What? Well, actually, hold on a minute. He was 25, right? What the hell is a 25-year-old mm -hmm. doing with, like, a 14, 15-year-old girl? Right. Yes, that's the question. I'll slap some asshole. <laughs> uh, Minoru Suzuki's current age would be... 43. 43. I thought it was 42, but that's not an option, so... Yeah. 43 years old. Yes, 18 years ago, he would have been 25. Uh, I asked around the Kafuku station area about Suzuki, but I didn't learn anything. Well, they went missing 18 years ago, so that's understandable. While I was out there, I met and spoke with Detective Kamihara. I'm a little concerned about something. It's... Wait. K Kamihara? What are, what are you concerned Wait. about? Where is he? He didn't share the info about the motorcycle. Is oh, that, yeah. Is that what he's... What do, you, what do you say? I'm a little concerned about something. Well, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. It's like, it's a full statement. It's like, while I was out there, I met and spoke with Detective, Detective Kamihara. I'm a little concerned about something. It's it's that he didn't share the info about the motorcycle. I, mm -hmm. it, it, I don't know. Well, that's... I mean, it's the only thing that makes sense out of Kamihara. Hey, I'll, I'll go for it and let you know if it's right. Oh, okay. It's about the motorcycle. And then, well, she keeps going on. She says, the motorcycle near a crime scene the night of the ice case murder? So that seems to be right. Okay. Uh, the motorcycle near the crime scene of the night of ice case murder? I told Detective Kuze about it because I thought it'd be helpful, but Detective Kamehata hadn't heard about it at all. Hmm. So information that could be relevant isn't getting shared. Do you think it just slipped her mind? That's what Detective Kamehata thinks, yeah. Or maybe he just wasn't paying attention when she told him. Or he forgot that she told him. That sounds kind of unlikely. Yeah, you're right. Or the taxi driver's the smiling man. Well, see that. Well, no, I'm just kidding. That seemed like a red herring, you know. It looked like, yeah. ooh, maybe, but mm. I'll ask the, uh, Detective Kuze about it when I get a chance. Anything else? When Detective Kuze was still in high school, she saw someone who looked familiar around Kofuku Station. That person seemed to be. Her brother. Her brother, which would Who be... Makoto? Yes. Makoto Kuze? Makoto Kuze. Her brother. If it was him, then he's he was still alive after his disappearance. Well, whoever he was, he was wearing a mask and he didn't seem to recognize her. I think it's natural to assume it's the wrong guy. But Detective Kuze apparently believes it was Makoto. She lives near Kafuku Station and looks for Makoto in her spare time. Oh, I see. Let's keep looking for more information around Kafuku City. I'm thinking I should start asking about Makoto as well. I agree. How are you going to, to go about it? How are you going to go about it? Oh, I was thinking. I wonder if we can get a picture of Makoto. If someone were to have one, it would be... Junko. I mean, or his or, or Yoshi. Yeah. Yeah. How about Yoshi? Yeah. Well, I wonder if it's, is this one of those questions where it can have multiple answers? Because, or is it like, what's the most likely thing? Because I don't think Junko's definitely, I don't think she's going to give us a photo. Yeah. Um, but I feel like Yoshi would because she has the pictures. Right. 
I'm going with Yoshi. Okay, same. Um, Yoshi, Detective Kuze Makoto's grandmother. Yes, good idea. Anyway, I'm glad to see you doing so well today. You're a reliable senpai. I'm a senpai? <laughs> <laughs> Your support makes it possible. Thank you for everything. <laughs> really? Good. Together we can crack this case. Hey, uh, I know it's not related to the case, but there's something that's kind of been bugging me. What's wrong? It seems like Inspector Kamada isn't feeling well. He seemed to be in pain the whole time I was talking to him today. Oh, that's worrisome. Yeah, he downplayed it, but I'll ask him about it the next time I see him. Now I'm curious too. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do tomorrow, Ayumi? I'm going to Minam the junior high school. <laughs> Kohei wants to talk to me. Kohei? Yeah, Kohei. Uh, Fukuyama says Kohei wants to help with Isaki's case. Oh. Okay. It's good timing. I was going to need to talk to Kohei at some point. Okay. Uh, Alright. Um, ask him listen. Oh, no. Maybe think, think, maybe? Hmm. Is it okay if I go instead? You go to the school? I don't think it'll be a problem, but why? Well, it's just, um, I don't want your ass near him. I mean, I I just thought it'd be easier for Kohei to talk to a guy. You do? Okay, I'll let Fukuyama know it'll be you showing up. Thanks. Hmm. You seem interested in him, so it's good you'll get to finally meet Fukuyama properly. I'm looking forward to him. A good chance to see what he's like up close. So I can punch him. <laughs> Uppercut to the balls. Jono Ridge, thank you so much for the follow. I definitely appreciate it. Oh, chapter eight, brother and sister. Woo! Man. I'm really enjoying this. I know, but I can't. I can't. It's, it's late. It's late. Damn it. Okay, folks. Okay. Um, Let's just get to this. You want to... Yeah, we'll wait. get to the point of this as we can, like, control. Yeah. It was dark the other night, so I couldn't see how big the school actually is. Hmm. Is that... Oh, God. Hello! You must be from the Otsugi Detective Agency. I am. Nice to meet you. My name's Dick Miles Gumshoe Edgeworth. Oh, God. Hi, I'm Mr. Fukuyama, but I believe we met once before, didn't we? Why is he standing so damn close to me? <laughs> oh, you mean at the police station? Sorry, yeah, I was there, but I didn't get a chance to introduce myself. Well, no worries. I mean, I didn't either. <laughs> okay. See, there we go. So, yes, next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will continue starting with Chapter 8. We, we are getting there. We probably have, like... I don't know. Three more chapters? Three, three to five chapters left. I don't know how many chapters are in this. Yeah, me neither, but uh, uh, let's assume at least 11, considering those are the other ones. But uh, yeah, um, so we're, I feel like we're almost there. We probably got like another two streams in us, I think, with this game. So uh, we will... But we'll figure out sometime next week to come back to this. Yeah. Um, just keep an eye out on Twitch and our Discords, and uh, we will simply take things from there. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, you've been enjoying this mystery, and uh, hopefully we can solve it uh, together. Hopefully. And, or maybe we, maybe we just accuse everybody. You know, that, <laughs> that works too. Oh, God, you're welcome, Kareem. Y'all, everybody have a great night. <laughs> yes. Love you all so much. Don't forget to spread that love around. Do it. Bye. <laughs> have a great night, everybody.